Okay, I'm going to show you how to open the track pack with Multitix Commander program. First off, open a track pack that you want to open with Multitix program. Look for Multitix MX versus ATV and Lease. Click that. Okay, highlight all the files with your shift key. Hold it down and highlight all the files and you want to extract them. Make a file folder. Create name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it test pack. Click clear A and then click OK. Okay, basically you extracted all these files to the Multitix Commander program folder so you want to close that for now. Minimize it. Go to the Multitix Commander. Open it. Program files. Look for the pack you just created. There's a folder there. I named it test pack. It's, it's right there. Open that click through. Okay, now there's three files that it extracted and you're missing a few so you need to convert the custom models using the MX conversion program. I'll show you that real quick how to do that. Open that program, MX Yukon program. Click the MST. Click program files. Click Multics Commander program. Folder. Open that. Open the test pack that you just made. Look for the MST folder. Open that. Open that. Click the MST file. Okay, the models were converted. Now we go to the SCN file and do the same. Click through. Okay, all the models have been converted. Okay, now go back to the Mosaic Commander program. Open that. Look for your file again folder. Open that test pack. See now it added three more file folders to your files there so after you convert the file so that's done I'll show you more detail later okay now you need to go and make a copy of your original track pack so go to your back to your desktop and copy it paste it right there under the user tracks okay now open the user tracks folder that's where all your files are you wanna modify like remove the start gate finish gate add sunflare that kind of stuff let's see for the sunflare you would open a toy file Right there is where you add code for the toy file. If you want to remove the finish gate, that would be in the ATY file. So you would highlight that and just delete it. And I'll show you that later in a different tutorial. Okay, now we're, so we're done with this folder right now, so close that. Go back to the Multics. Hide, um, maximize it. Okay, now you want to go to the third button over from the top click that one. Okay, now you're going to replace the files that are in your pack. So open a file you made. Make sure that little folder is open. Click batch. Go do the same thing on that side. Click batch. Now click OK. You're going to replace all the files that you just modified. Okay, now you're going to repack it. See that replaced all the files. There's a second button over. Now go to the fifth button over. I'm going to create a new pack. You have to basically tell it where it is. So Go through computer, local disk C, program files, Multics Commander program folder, open that. Look for the pack you made, the folder, look for your pack there, and click on the pack. Okay, then do it in the same thing here on this line. Click that pack there, click save. Okay, now you're going to repack it, just pick continue. There, now you repack the track pack. So now you're done with that. So close that program. Close that one. Okay, go back to the folder that you just created for your track. Multi-X program and open that. Copy the pack there. That's where it goes when it repacks it. Copy that. And then just paste it into your user tracks folder. And you're done. Go test it in game.